Hi all, in this session we are going to discuss about the files and folders. Uh, there is a command is there, you can see here, files and folders. So these files and folders, you can, uh, there is multiple commands are there. You can create a file or open a folder, create a folder, delete folder, you'll see one by one. First, what I'm doing is just open a file. You can give the any path name, file name. We'll see open this Excel sheet. So open a file means you can give this here. Just running that. I think in the last session we can see that open a program or file the same thing here also you can do that same operation. But here only files only you can open. It's not like .exe files. You can open only files. Files or folders. You can see here. Oops, done there. Right. That is open a file and copy files. So source file, you suppose I want to copy this demo dot txt for so destination. I will keep in the desktop itself. I'll keep these classes. Okay. Just I'm copying the demo dot PST. And rename files. I'll do one thing what I'm doing is just copying file and renaming that file. Renaming file in the E folder new file name you can give that demo one so after copying that it should be demo one yes, you can see here it's completed now First demo so now demo is changed to demo one actually I'm not given demo one dot txt that's why it's, you can see that the format is changed again and the next one is like classes in classes there is a demo test document is okay? just deleting this demo it will delete through the bottom. I just give the same thing demo in the txt. I'm just copying it and renaming it to demo dot and then after that you can see a demo one in the classes a demo now I'm I want to delete this demo one. So what I will do here, delete files. 
select the demo one file. You can see here advanced view. There is a size also there. Depends upon the size. If size is more than 50 KB or at least at most extract like that. There is depends upon size. Also, you can delete the files and depends upon the date, created date or modified date or in between date format or before. Like this also you can delete that. If something is there in the last 10 days, we will see this one also one example. First what I am doing is So given this modified date, right? that's what it's asking your require. So I will run this only this step. It will ask save. So you can see here now e demo, it should not be demo one. You can see here now there is no demo one here. So I want to create again in the demo one. Information demo. Demo you can run only this step. You'll see now. You can see here now demo.txt is created with 0k. Now I want to delete this file like 9kb is there, right? So we'll see this now. Disabling this delete files. Advanced view. You can insert here variables also in every place, whatever the path you can see here, tip it will give. Press F2 to insert variables. That one also you can. I am saying delete files which is having at least 7 KB I am giving because it's MS Word document is having 9 KB right I'm closing that so it should delete the that 9 KB document okay not demo one I have to change this path name right because demo one is not there You can see here the file, if file size is at least 7 KB, then delete the file. You see here now, there is no, just what document is not. So you can give the condition also like that. And you can give the date also. Modify date, create a date. If in create a date is last two days, I'm just giving that suppose demo. Demo is given last created date is last one day. So it should delete that, right? So that one also you can do. I have to delete this file size. Now you can see file created in last one day. Now it's there is no nothing is there. It's empty. It's deleted that file. So you can create file, delete file, rename it a file. So there is multiple. You can zip files also. You want to zip this classes folder, okay? 
should be destination should be like uh, inside demo. Zip file name I have to give it right. So class dot zip in format class dot zip it will save. There is advanced view is there. You can replace file or update only if you are uh, this compression levels also you can keep it fast or super fast normal. So these things and all you can do it. And see here inside demo there is a classes zip file is there. So you can zip it now. You can unzip those files also. Or you can create file shortcut copy folder. So these are all multiple options are there. You can explore these options like uh, what is this? Uh, how you can copy the folder from source folder to destination folder? Overwrite files if it is there. Destination if suppose same file is there also you can overwrite it. And advanced you can see that based on the size num also you can copy folder if file size is more than 50 KB. Now what will happen if sometimes uh, uh, you will get the requirement like uh, uh, you have to copy the files only when you are uh, you can see here file you copy files only when the file is updated now how you know file is updated based on the size previously if suppose is 0 kb is there they will say that you this will work need to run only when the file is updated with some data right how you came to know that whether data is uploaded maybe if after data upload i can say that the file size may increase so I can say that copy files when, when the file size is increasing is much at least this so like that you can do that uh, scenarios those type of scenarios you can use this and you can uh, open the folder create a folder inside a folder you can create multiple folders or rename it folder name itself folder name new folder name you can give that so for, for that advance you you can based on size when you want to change the folder name so uh, these are all the multiple things that they, these are the small small comments only you can explore much on these comments. Uh, if you like this video, please subscribe this channel. Uh, thanks for watching this video.